Alright, welcome back everybody. This is episode 8 of Let's Play Portal 2. I am Caleb, and we are continuing where we left off, about to find out what our surprise is. So, I think once this elevator takes us to where we're going, we are going to find out what it is. But if not, we only have one or two more tests to go until. So, I know the suspense is killing me too, but just be patient. The surprise. Yeah. And if you're bored of all these kind of monotonous test chambers, it's going to get more exciting soon, so just be patient. Initiating surprise in three, two, one. What is it? What is it? What is it? I uh -oh. made it all up. It's a utility room. And surprise. confetti. Oh, come on. If it makes you feel any better, they abandoned you at birth. So I very seriously doubt they'd even want to see you. How nice. Alright, so this one's pretty simple, really. I mean, how could it not be simple? Really. this because when we press this button cubes are gonna fall from both of these and they'll just run into each other and fall into the water so we gotta stop them from doing that check that out how easy was that the answer so easy except for this part not actually mean to drop that. Alright. Why? Oh, there it goes. Alright, now we can safely just do whatever. Apparently this game has procedurally generated music, which I can kind of see with, like, when you activate these types of deals, but... I feel awful about that surprise. Tell you what, let's give your parents a call right now. The bird parents you are trying to reach do not love you. Please hang up. <laughs> oh, that's sad. But impressive. Maybe they worked at the phone company. Maybe. <laughs> These rooms are getting uh, progressively more and more well repaired, I guess. Oh, hey, look, it's our friend. Going? I talked my way onto the old nanobot work crew rebuilding this shaft. They are really small. So, oh. I know, Jerry. No, I'm on a break, mate. On a break. His and face now, is Just crooked. hang in there for five more... What, Jerry? You can't fire me for that. Yes, Jerry. Or maybe your prejudiced work site should have accommodated a nanobot of my size. Thanks <laughs> for the hate crime, Jer. See you in court, mate. Anyway, look, just hang in there for, for five more chambers. Five more chambers, huh? Hopefully, they go quickly. Well, you know the old Cause I want to get out of here. I want to escape. Plus tragedy, plus time, and you have been asleep for a while. So I guess it's actually pretty funny when you do the math. You know what? I hadn't thought of that. Okay. So when I first played through this. This level was an absolute nightmare. I could not figure out how to do it. So I was trying to do it the hard way. And I did succeed in doing it the hard way, but that was the hard way, not the easy way. So, you know. Let's do it the easy way this time, shall we? 
wait, I'm doing this wrong. Alright, there we go. Now, see, we need to knock that other uh, cube off of there. So, I'm gonna do this. What? I'm gonna call shenanigans on that. Because that was not even fair. There we go. Oh no. Alright, so... Basically, we gotta redirect a laser like three times. So we gotta get it up here. We gotta get it up here. There we go. Do this. Not get hit by that. Hit that thing. Now we gotta get up there somehow. Well, now we gotta get up there. Now we have to get up there somehow. And to do that, we need to do some portal flying, maybe. I'm not really sure. Point is, I thought I had to place the portal while I was flying upwards through this, up to there, but I don't. It's so much easier than that. So, uh, just watch. See? No complicated placement needed. I can do it with myself, too. It literally took me 15 minutes just to get that the first time I tried. Because I tried to, uh, like I said, place it while I was falling towards the springboard. And that just did not work at all. Now we gotta get up there. So... Wow. That... did just happen. Blow up some turrets. Because we don't want to get shot when we finally get over there, do we? No. I hate Test Chamber 19. I hate it so much. Not as much now, but... When I was doing this level the first time, the prospect of recording this level was just... horrible. I did not want to do this one, just because I knew I'd take a very long time on it, but as it turns out, I figured it out. So check that out. We just destroyed I about our dilemma, that test. And I came up with a solution that I honestly think works out best for one of both of us. I guess we'll find out what that solution is. Maybe. Maybe not. Federal regulations require me to warn you that this next test chamber is looking pretty good. That's right. The facility is completely operational again. Nice. Very nice. This test also gave me a lot of trouble. And I was talking with Ronayam on X-Fire while he was trying to do this test, and it was pretty funny. Because it's very confusing when you're traverse trying to figure it out. Because you only have two portals. You can't do that much with two portals. But see how that works? It's like they made it perfectly so it would just go at the perfect angle to hit that. And in fact, they did. And whoa, what's this? This is also lined up perfectly. And you can bet that this one will be too. See how simple that is? It's so simple. 
that it's something that's very simple. Futuristic music. I think these test chambers look even better than they did before. It was easy, really. They you do, just have in to fact. look at things objectively, see what you don't need anymore, and trim out the fat. Hmm, it's like that's some sort of metaphor for us. I don't know, though. In fact, actually, yes, I do. But, you know. I've got a surprise for you after this next test. Not a fake, tragic, tragic surprise like last time. A real surprise with, with tragic, tragic consequences. consequences. And real confetti this time. The good stuff. Our last bag. Part of me is going to miss it. But at the end of the day, it was just taking up space. Well, I can't wait for a real surprise with tragic consequences. It's the end of the universe! Or, wait, no, that's not right. What's no! Who turned off the lights? Hey, buddy! I'm speaking in an accent that is beyond her range of hearing. Look, Metal Ball, <laughs> I can hear you. Run! I don't need to do the voice. Run! It's crazy how an accent. Whoa. Well, I guess we're, uh... I guess we're... Let's blow this popsicle stand. Something like that. I might have gotten my youth missions mixed up. Too bad we can't sprint. Yes, indeed. The irony is you are almost at the last test. Here it is. Why don't you just do it? That looks simple enough. It's an easier way out than whatever asinine plan your friend came up with. I don't know why we can't just do the test. Oh look, there's a thing. <laughs> yes, I'm sure there is. Wow. So hey, the uh, frame rate is getting pretty bad right now, so I'm gonna cut it off because we're almost at 15 minutes anyway. Um, I'll see you guys in episode, what it's gonna be, 9? And I'll hopefully have this fixed, so I'll see you guys then.